Hi everyone, let's look at weighted distribution in constraints. We in the weighted distribution uses an operator called dist, which means distribution. Here, when you generally constrain, where, for example, variable v, we can mention inside 0, 1. Suppose I want values of v should be 0 and 1. This is how I can constrain. What does that mean is like number of times if I like some if I write 100 seats the possibility of value getting value of 0 and possibility of getting value is like 50 times like 50 percent of the time I can that, that's also probability it is not a hundred percent the probability of getting uh, value 0 is 50 times and probability of getting value of uh, 1 is 50 times so if I run 100 times or 100 seats but if I want value of 0 to be more uh, more then I have a con I have something called dist distribution. You can use variable dist for value zero. I can uh, I can I have given a weightage of seventy for example in this case, and the value of uh, one I I gave a weightage of ten. What does this mean is suppose uh, let's add up to seventy plus ten which is eighty. If I run eighty seeds, the possibility of getting the value zero for variable v is 70 times and the, the possibility of getting the value 1 for variable v is only 10 times. Here the dist operator takes a list of values and weights. You see here this is 0 is a value and uh, weight, 70 is weight for the value 0 separated by colon equal to. Here in this case I showed colon equal to there is other operator also colon forward slash. The weights are not percentages they do not have to add up to. 100 here uh, here you see 70 plus 10 this doesn't add up to 100 that's what he's telling basically it is a probability it uh, we can like how we can find probability is like uh, 70 plus 10 is 80 right 70 divided by 80 gives the probability of getting the value of 0 okay let's see the example here in this example i have declared a variable v1 logic data type one logic 1 down to 0 ran modifier I'm I have given a constraint v1 distribution uh, distribution here in this case I have taken the value is one value v1 has um, is 1 down to 0 that means he has possibility of getting values of uh, 0 to 3 4 values are possible so I have given distribution of our value 0 70 and value 1 is 10 value 2 is 10 and value 3 is 10 weights okay now I if I want to see the uh, if I want to see the if you see in this case the value for value 0 the weightage is high like if i run if i add if you add up to 70 plus 10 plus 10 you will get 100 see if you run 100 seeds the the possibility of getting the possibility or the or, or probability of getting value 0 is 70 times that's what the here the weightage of 0 is 70 divided by 100 which is the total value 0 0.7 times Bo 0.7 the pro sorry pro points 7 is the probability probability of getting value 0 for other for value 1 2 3 and the probability is 0 0.1 okay and let's run and see how it goes here i call the class in a way in a module where where i have a repeat of 10 times so that if i run 10 times like uh, that's what right here if i what does it mean is say if i ran 10 is the out of 10 is 7 times uh, uh, 7 times i should give, get a value 0 for the variable v1 Th that's what i got the i instanced the class in this variable um, here instanced this class inside this uh, module ran ran class and uh, instance name is ran rc and rc is constructed here repeat 10 times so rc is rc randomized function called rc dot randomize here i am printing the v1 value at every time here you see i got the values for the v1 well, let's count one uh, number of times i got 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 times i'm expecting seven times as i said right this is the probability uh, out of expected seven times if that's six times that's okay number of times i get value one or two or three is each um, one time let's see value 1 i got one time and value go 2 i got three times value 3 i got three times one time okay so this is the this is how it works hope you got it thank you